I'm DJ Moore, and to my left is Joey Dessel. Welcome to Two Dumbbells and a Microphone, the unfiltered movement against the conventional health and fitness industry. No influencers, no fluff, just two health and fitness experts bringing you a refreshing, counterculture take on familiar fitness topics. Self-produced and sponsor-free, our message cuts through the noise by being realistic, relatable, and digestible. And while your journey might be different than ours, we are all working towards the same destination. With 50 years of combined wisdom, merging modern tech with old school insight, and a vast range of health and fitness expertise, our goal is to deliver genuinely useful advice directly to you, without ads, product promotions, or other BS. So join the movement. Subscribe to Two Dumbbells and a Microphone for a friendly, fun, and free fitness experience. Find the show on your favorite podcast platform and YouTube now. Guess who's back? <laughs> Way to start off the new year, Joey. You're in charge of the buttons. <laughs> Jeez, Good grief. Is this how we're going to start 2024? Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> wow, we have put so much work into this, and we thought we had our act together. Guess what? We do have our act together, and that's just us being who we are. Sometimes <laughs> things happen, guys. Welcome back to another episode. Two dumbbells on a microphone. This has really been fun, dude. Yeah. But we have been gone. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> you know, we've been gone for a few months. And we, we've, you know, we've been doing some things. Yeah. Some very, very exciting things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exciting is just one word I'll use for what's going on. But you have got exciting things as well. And we've made a list of some yep. things we want to talk about. And we want to include you with uh, what's coming up. What we've been doing for the past few months, why we've been gone, what you can kind of expect from us. Is anything going to change from us? Well, it's just going to get better. What do you got to say, Joey? That's exactly it, man. Yeah. So we're here. We're back for season two. First episode of the new year. First episode of the new season. And we want to do a little bit of review from last year and then a little bit of explanation for our long break. And then uh, finally... We're going to preview what's coming up. And that's where DJ was alluding to the exciting stuff. I, mean, mm. I think that's the most exciting, but. Yeah, it is. I, I Well, if I'm being honest, I'm, I, it is the most exciting stuff. I think it's the most relevant stuff, too, Yeah, as well. And I think every client should know that what we go through on our journey as well may help them along with their journey. Kind of yeah. see what, what's that's been going point. on. Yeah. It's, been, it's, it's also been what we would call, uh, for me, that roller coaster. And we'll explain that, that roller coaster. I, I bet you everybody knows what that, what that means. Yeah. And I say roller coaster, it's like, oh, I ain't been on one of those before. And he means emotionally. Emotional roller coaster. Physical, emotional, like, can be on both of those. So we'll explain that yeah. uh, as I get through the end here. Yeah, absolutely. So if we kind of talk a little bit about season one and last year, we were able to, basically, we, we recorded from March until August. Yeah. We got 24 recordings. We released awesome. 19 of those, which yep. I'm super proud of. I think it's fantastic to be able to start it out and have the production and all that publishing schedule. I mean, it was hectic. We, yeah, we kind of did almost too much, right? We were excited, though. Yeah, <laughs> we had a lot to say. Yeah, we did. Right. And so we put out a lot of really good content, and uh, a lot of those episodes I really stand by. I'm really proud of them. And I constantly refer people back to – Whichever topic, right? They talk about something in the gym or w when yep. I'm at jujitsu and I say, dude, me and my friend DJ talked about this for 45 minutes. Go mm. check it out, right? Mm. And I kind of like that some of them are lengthy, although it makes it harder, right? For, it does. For us to work on and for people to consume. So as we come into season two, we're going to keep things a little bit tighter. And that starts today. Today. Go, we'll say it right now. We're going to be under 20 minutes. That's a hard <laughs> ending. Okay. okay, here we go. We have 15 remaining. <laughs> Let's a lot go. To say. <laughs> yeah. Um, but as, as we wrapped up last year, season one, we looked back at those episodes and we touched on, I think, some of the most important topics in a way that is different than a lot of other voices in the fitness industry. True. That's really a distinguishing factor here. So anybody who's who's in with us as part of the audience, they're really getting into that part where, you know, we're not talking to to you guys and gals the same way all these other fitness influencers are doing well, on, on that, social media. 
stop, pause. We're just that we're not influencers. Yeah. You just said it. So that's the difference for our tone. Yeah. Perfect. Sorry. Continue. Exactly. On. And and that's something we want to carry through into <clears throat> next year. So for season two, we're continuing to self-produce the podcast. Yep. No ads, no sponsors, no products to be promoting. None of these, none of these basically shill items that are that are constantly being pushed right in front of people who are just looking for genuine advice to make their health and fitness better. I want to scream loud and, 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 and do something dramatic to, to get people involved with something like this because that's what our kind of culture does. Something yeah. bright, something loud, something ferocious so that, so that we capture your attention. Right. I still want to commit to that same idea with this podcast is for that, that audience that's matured, that can pause, come back, pause, come back, mm -hmm. and continue on with this sort of informational type of platform that we give you. Mm -hmm. Because when we come at you with this information, it's, it's always from the heart. Yeah. It's, it's, it's something we've both applied in our life, yeah. and we, we know it works, and we wanted to, you to apply it and show you that it works. We're going to continue with that along this journey as well. Yeah. I think that's one of the things I'm the most proud of is that the message is – unadulterated by an agenda for viewership or length to, to match the platform it's published on or any of these other attributes that other podcasts are built around that entirely. Yep. Right. And so we're not trying to be a chart topper. We're not interested in, in making sure that we can fit in three sponsor breaks, whatever. Instead, the message is really king and that's what we're trying to do. So to be able to deliver that in, in this awesome format where it's directly to the consumer, I think that is just the, the best part. It just might be the new way. Yeah. Forget this short-term stuff. How about switching gears? Anyway, we can go on forever. Yeah. Right? Let's and get, we've done it before. Yeah, right? let's yeah, get we, to this. Let's keep this thing 20 minutes, remember? We well, got, yeah, so that's a good call. So <clears throat> we talked a little bit about season one, what we like about it, and we're going to talk uh, next up about the break, right? We last published an episode in August, late August of 2023. We have three more that we've recorded that we've been keeping basically in reserve. Mm. And yeah, while like we those. have been waiting, uh, it's not like we've just been sloth or on vacation the whole time, right? I, I got some travel and I had a great time and, and DJ has had his time as well. But more importantly, we have been working on really exciting Business development. Moves, business development. You know? And DJ has the most to say about that. But uh, before he gets started on it, I think like in a nutshell, in a recap, 2023, being able to work remotely as an online trainer and send videos and plans and, and advice and motivation to my clients and still do that even when I traveled to Hawaii, to still do that even and have time for jujitsu in my life. You know, that is such a cool thing. And it's just the icing on the cake on top of being able to help people out. The coaching relationship is is already my favorite part. And so to now have it be so direct and, and so just so connected to the client, I think that's far better than what gyms can provide, where the trainer has to abide by the rules and follow the exact session length. And, you know, it's it's in, it's impersonal because it's become like a factory, a commercial factory. You know? And you so do have a stressed out uh, trainer. You do. You do. You probably right. if your trainer is putting in 35 sessions, 40 sessions a week or more than that, they're a stressed out trainer. I guarantee it. I was, right. you were. Yeah. It, a that, successful trainer right. has a lot of back it's very, to very stressed out. Hours and However, this I'm glad you pointed this out. Gosh, can we go 25 minutes? It's up to you. <laughs> because it it does. Yeah. It, it it allows us to do our job, but with less stress on us because we can deliver this message so much more efficiently. Yeah. And I have been that old school trainer where it's always been in person, on paper, and you've helped me to develop this same thing, but now it's all online, this techie thing, yeah. so we can reach you more. So now you don't have tired trainers and coaches. You have alert, ready to train, yeah. and able to give you guys information immediately yeah. because we're not beholden to the place of a gym. Right. This is a prime example of that freedom that you want for somebody who's going to want to coach you. Yeah. Is their life stressed out? Well, if it is, they're probably going to give you stressed out information. Yeah. Okay. So I can tell you from personal experience, now that I'm free, <clears throat> that change in experience for me, I'm waiting for that also, that transformation like you have. Yeah. 
that like, yeah, I can still connect with thousands of you, but still be on the beach. Yeah. Sign me up. Yeah. Sign me up. I'm glad you said it that way because it's, it really is a better result for the client when the trainer is able to coach better, right? To be more effective and to, to do it from a better state of mind. And it's hard to say that without sounding selfish or self-centered, but I think you really put it together nicely. And, you know, like you, like you kind of alluded to, that is, yes. you know, the up and coming, the near future. You might as well get into it. Hit it. Let's break this eggs open. Yeah. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> well, I won't give all the details. I will give a, just a rough, I don't work for anybody anymore. How about that? I don't work at a small gym. I don't work for, yeah, hit it, dude. Go ahead, dude. Yeah. It's a big this announcement. This is a right? big deal. Yeah. I do not work for a company other than myself. And I'll just twist this mug here for the, oops. There you go. Bam. Yeah. Well, that's, so that's exciting. that's the logo. That's, that's the, my we logo. We can put a big, we'll put a big. Yeah, we'll do right some. Here, right? The M36. Really cool. Edit. Or sorry, the Rule 76 oh, shield. <laughs> <laughs> we thought about a lot of iterations and we've got a lot of things on our mind, but what DJ has on his on his mug there is a sticker for the logo. And some of our most close viewers and, and family friends and stuff have seen this before on his other media or have maybe a sticker in their possession. But it's really significant of this monumental shift for you yep. going from that in-person trainer W-2 employee or contractor where you're right. in somebody else's house to right. now this full-fledged, committed online trainer. 100% in. That's it. 100% in. Very you know, exciting. Let me do this again. You hit it again. Yeah. I need that motivation. It's a big step. I need that know? motivation. And I've been giving DJ a lot of... Motivation. Motivation, <laughs> advice, right? And I've been saying to him for a long time, dude, you have what it takes and you have a lot going on already. And this, you know, basically as of, I guess it was late November last year when you really hit this significant switch, is the culmination and the recognition of all of that stuff coming together. You know, and I think it is kind of like you got to this peak, you get to look around 360 degree there, view. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool feeling, man. Sorry, I am emotional about this, so I'm going to try to keep it emotional too, but I'm going to keep it in check. But I want people to know that this just didn't happen by mm -hmm. accident. Mm -hmm. This has been a full-on march, and it just so happened that I, a very special person in my life allowed this to happen. This person helped me to realize my dream fully to stop doing the same thing every day and focus entirely on be going online mm -hmm. and helping those people that I've been saying for years I want to help. Yeah. This person has allowed me to do that. Very cool. They have supported me in a way that says, now you're in, buddy. <laughs> you yeah. better make this thing yeah, yeah. go. It's a powerful vote of confidence. Very. Because they're recognizing that you have the capabilities the capacity, the energy, right? Whatever it takes and whatever yep. words you want to use, they're all present. And I, I think I've been saying that for a while, but now you've heard it twice. And maybe from even more people. Joey, you don't put get, it all together. Joey doesn't get enough credit <laughs> uh, in in this platform because I don't. Nobody's gonna know how much you've done for me and my family. I mean, and, and nor should you get everybody know what you've done. But to sure. know this, the support system that I have. Let's be fair. It's all of you. It's been all of my clients. It's been you. It's been Lisa. It's been every person I've talked to who I've never trained. Right. But more so, it's been you guys. Mm -hmm. You guys are my support system. You've helped me grow. And let me tell you, it's been hard to grow. This has not been a casual change. This has right. been a very hard change from being the person who goes to work every day to saying, no, actually, my work is actually going to my kitchen table, opening up my laptop. This is unfamiliar territory for a guy right. my age. Yeah. It's a new switch and change. It's, it's familiar because it's training and coaching, but on a whole different technology level. Right. You're the boss and the employee. And the supermodel. Right. Yeah. Well, the talent, the accountant, supermodel. web developer, responsible for the coaching, <laughs> write the copy for the website, figure out all those things to say and do and hold yourself accountable, but and not be too harsh. And, it's it, been it is definitely, like you said, it's developmental. It's new. And it's a big shift from 
the employee relationship, which I know you're so accustomed to. But yep. The exciting news is with this shift, right, with this big change, right, the culmination of really years of fitness experience, coaching, building up that, that uh, ability, now you can get into it, you can take it online, and you can extend the reach, able yeah. to connect with more people. Yeah. You know? And so while you give me compliments for what I've done to help you, sure. I like the idea of then you going off and, and having an effect like the movie Pay It Forward, yep. right? You're helping three or 300, and I'm like, oh, I got a piece of that because he's doing it because of me. I love that. That's me, and too. so I want to see that, right. and, and I think I'm... I think I'm right on the cusp of, you know, oh, shoot, man. <laughs> it's because my quads, it's my quads are so big. Oh, my goodness. And when I flex. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. This is be an edit nightmare. <laughs> no, no editing. We're going for it. We have about four, four more minutes for our okay. original goal. Let's see what we have. Wait, I'm, I'm not done oh, though. Oh, go like, ahead, man. I'm sorry. I wanted I wanted people to know a little bit more about what this is though, because you're, we're talking totally. about my brand and we're talking about leaving. They're like, well, what the heck is he talking about? Good, good. Point. You know, Rule Seventy Six Fitness. That's who I am, and we've said it before in the last, you know, 2023 20, and all our episodes. We were mentioning it, but now for real, guys. This Rule Seventy Six Fitness is about to launch. It's about to go full and public. And we're going to start it off with what we call, or I call, my M36. Now, a lot of you going to be like, what's M36? Build the excitement. Is there an excitement button? No. There's not. Not really, dude. Sorry. Mm. I got crickets only. Yeah. <sighs> yep, that was a good one. <laughs> but I am excited about yeah, this because about this M36. is going to change the way people start their training. This is not revolutionary. This is not like I am more, I'm more intelligent than, than you or another trainer. No, this was developed because over years I realized the problem that we were having as trainers and the way we were training people was not working out in their favor mm. or mine. And I took the cue from you when we learned, when you started bringing mobility into my life, I was like, holy crap, what is this crap? Like, mm. this is hard. Yeah. And I realized really rapidly that the client sitting across from me telling me their story about fat loss and, and muscle gain and yada yada, I realized I just keep on getting these broken vessels. Mm. Misaligned chassis and cars and broken windshields and headlights and all these things wrong with their vehicle, mm. right? And we would go and we would train them and say, well, now you gotta do squatting and hinging and pressing, right? All the while their joints, tendons, ligaments and all these things just didn't line up. Yeah. I continue to train like this and then when I realized mobility was, a, was where we were going to fix it, I created this M36. Mm. It's the mobility and flexibility movement that gets you ready for those patterns which your trainer is going to ask you to go through immediately. Nice. Right? Your, trainer, your new trainer is going to say, hey, I need to see you squat or push up or plank or something like that. Yes, we're going to do that. I'm going to do that to you too. But before I start getting you into explaining how you got a hip hinge, I'm going to try to unlock, oops, sorry, your body. And that's what this M36 is going to do. It's going to start unlocking the body so these middle-aged men, which I'm targeting, can get back to playing with their kids safely. Working out to build muscle is not the safe approach. Mm. It's being able to move in these patterns full range that is the safe approach. It's crucial. Every adult that I have talked to about playing on their snowboard or skateboard always tells me, oh, I won't want to get injured. It's not that they're not strong enough or capable enough, right? They're always worried about the injuries. Mm -hmm. Why? It's not because they don't have a skill set either. Mm. It's their mobility and flexibility. To fall and to land and let the body move through it naturally or mm -hmm. unnaturally without problem right. is hard mm -hmm. unless you have it built in. You need to be able to contract those muscles and release those muscles fully for right. safety, especially right. if you're going to play. M36 is developed to start at the beginning. Unlock the problem, right? Mm -hmm. Then we do movement pattern. Then we load movement pattern. That's good. This is what we're doing, guys, and this is my system. I'm so excited that this M36, we're going to be doing this uh, founding client challenge. Right? Yeah. Right. Finding yeah. teaser. Sorry, I'm going to drop soon. it right now. I'm going to yeah. be looking for a certain amount of men to do a certain thing. And in 60 days, we're going to see a really cool result. Right. And I've been filming, we've been filming for these videos. Yep. 
these are these are fun. These are hard. It's a lot coming up. We've we've done all the filming. We I can did tell you're real excited. Thirty six, dude. We've done thirty six videos in just the mobility alone. Yep. Plus those other ten and follow along routines and assessment for safety. Hours. I think it's really great, man. You're really building a great program. <sighs> you have helped a lot. Thank you. It's it's been an, an immense journey. And I want people to come along and I want them to realize that the person that they're seeing behind the screen and the, and the imperfections you may see, that's part of it. Mm -hmm. I didn't right. want this system that looked to, to me like, no offense to Beachbody, well produced, right? It's beautiful, man. Their stuff is great. Sure. That's not me. I think everybody's burnt out on Hollywood fitness. I just, I wanted it to be like me. And I want it to be captured like that. There's right. raw in there. That's I, what your clients like about you. So just, we represented that on our media. And, and this is what yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. You're getting a real person doing the real things who struggles with the mobility you'll see. There's things I still can't do that well. Yeah. Cool. Yep. I want my coach, if I'm going to be coaching something, to tell me about the hard knocks too right. that they face. Yeah, yeah. And that, that they're still learning. Something fascinating about certain coaches that I like is that they'll continually learn even after you think, how much can, more can you learn? Right. It's, it's, it seems You're learning it's... the business and, the, and that, that bridge, that growth that comes from doing it basically as a solo entrepreneur where you're responsible for all the, all the roles. And the exciting thing about that with coaching is that you get to have that really, really tight relationship to the client that you're that you're working with because it is just the two of you. And we talked about that a little bit earlier, but with what you're talking about now, Rule 76 Fitness launching the M36 program. I mean, the key takeaways from that are fixing people up to really get them able to do the mileage they need to yeah. for their fitness goal, right? So many clients come to us and say, hey, I wanna drive across country, lose 30 pounds, regain my ability to play, feel better in my back. And it's like, well, dude, we actually have a lot of work to do before your vehicle is even ready to hit the road, or you're going to have a blowout, yeah. a breakdown before you make it halfway across, or even less. And so to, to take that it. kind of a brave stance of a trainer to put his, his foot down and say, I know you want to do movements that you'll feel the burn and get a good workout. But first, it's mandatory you start with fixing those movement patterns. Then we can start really executing. I think that's a great thing to do in the online package for them to be able to follow along with videos, see the demonstrations, track the results. That's going to really be the kicker. So I'm excited for the founding founding client challenge. I can't wait to, to be able working. to tell more about that and to start to release more of the trailers for those. But before we go too much more into that, in our final moments here, because we yes, don't want to make do that. you late, we have last thing to tell people about, I think today is a bit of preview for the upcoming episodes, cool. right? So we're coming in now. It's first week of January. We have great content that's already in the pipeline for our next three episodes. So we're going to be releasing those well, really soon, right? Make sure you're subscribed, get the notifications, share the podcast with other people. In the next three weeks or four weeks, we'll be doing What is Health, which is a real deep dive on kind of the stuff beyond the magazine covers and the, the things so the industry vague, talks about. I'm, I'm really it. excited for people to be able to listen to that one. And we follow it up with what is fitness. And I think that's a crucial distinction, health and fitness. We call ourselves health and fitness coaches. I yeah. think that is a crucial combo. And we never want our fitness training to detract from our health, which we'll get into in that, that full episode. Yeah. Right. And then the, the final episode that we have already scheduled for release is how to start or restart a health and fitness program. So if you're working on your January resolution or you know somebody who is, or you're just continuing good habits you've carried from previous months, that's going to be a great episode for you to either strengthen what you're doing, get things re-going, or maybe share it with someone else and, and help to spread that positive health and fitness results to other the, people. These guys know what to do, but you got to mention it. You got to yeah. share this stuff. Right. You have to share this stuff. That's what we do. Yeah. And uh, thank goodness for all the people in our lives that shared information with us. Yeah. Because I would, where would we be without that? I love the fact that That's we can exactly. share information. And, and, and in a culture like ours, it's, it's, it's kind of hard. Yeah. Coaches and trainers, we all feel this sort of sense of uh, proprietary knowledge. 
It's a little bit of dog eat dog competition. Yeah, like one well, client is less for me. My squat knowledge is better than your squat knowledge, and and sure, granted, there are levels, right? You know, but for for us or for myself, I would say it personally, I like that sharing of information, even wrong or right. It gives me that idea, right, so that I can foster the challenge of gaining the wisdom from it myself, seeing if it's right or wrong. But sharing it is what I think we've been really good at doing. Right. And we want you guys to share this as well. It just makes sense. Yeah, so it, please do promote the podcast. Send it to somebody that you know would, would benefit from the information. And along the same lines, get back to us too. If, if it yeah. gives you some benefit, if it helps you out any day, send us a message, drop a comment. I like to know the results of what we're doing. So never hesitate to, to give us that info. Cool. Let's right. lock it up, dude. Let's play this out. We'll be getting out. We are really close to our 20 minutes. Not quite, but better than we've done before. Way so. better. <laughs> Here's our outro music, and we'll be good to go. So as a quick recap, thank you for listening once again. Frankly, if you've made it this far, you're in the 95th percentile of attention span. Yeah. <laughs> Almost everybody clue, uh, goes off before they get to the end. So if you are hearing my words right now, consider yourself a little bit elite. <laughs> Now, to that end, as a reminder, share the podcast. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll get notifications for our new episodes that are coming out. Check out DJ's website. Rule76fitness.com. There you go. Make sure that you are following him as well so you can see some of the upcoming work with the M36 program. Yep. And then, of course, make, uh, make sure you're just staying tuned to both of us on social media. Yep. Uh, as we're going through this January, we are looking to provide some some tips and tricks there as well. So if you want a slightly different voice than the rest of the health and fitness chaos that's out there, uh, tune into us. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. See you next time.